Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, just wanted to uh, talk about a little bit about the use of power Doppler, color gain, and color scale. Where we use it and when we need to use them. Let's talk about the uh, color gain first. Color gain is uh, something we just uh, give extra color. It's like either can be blue or red or orangish, different. But when it's neat, we just make it a little increase it or decrease it depend on the uh, location of the flow. For example, if the flow is a really high speed flow, really turbulent flow, we can say, so we decrease the color gain. But the best is if you could put your color gain around 50, the 50, per, let's go by percentage. If it's a 50% from there, we can uh, move it to decrease it or increase it due to the need on that case. But what's the difference with the color scale with this? Color scale is when we wanna detect, when we make sensitive that area. Um, for example, if it's a tiny artery, if it's a vein, if it's uh, an abnormal connection uh, or a shunt between the arterial and venous flow, uh, or if it's really, really small, tiny arterioles or small arteries, so in that case, it's important to see, to detect the flow, to, to catch the flow, to make it the sound more sensitive, to see that movable uh, structure. For example, our structure is a blood tissue in that case. So the move of the blood to catch it, to, to see it, then we make it more sensitive. So that color scale is actually sensitivity. So you decrease the color scale. So we wanna see the sound to, to go with the speed of the flow. If this flow is really slow flow, really, really uh, narrow flow. So it's better to bring your color scale down for that. that. That scale has to be really down to be visible, to be uh, seen or um, if it's a diagnosis, for example, for a shunt between arterial and venous flow, if it's a AV fistola, for example, if it's uh, in the heart, you're looking for VSD, ASD, P4 or, or uh, any other uh, abnormalities. So in that case, or if it's a really small, tiny artery, maybe um, peripheral arteries or maybe uh, cerebrovascular uh, structures, or maybe somewhere uh, you're looking for the heart, small arteries. So in that case, we bring our scale really down. So then on, on these cases, color gain will be not really, really important to move it to make it higher or down. It's better to put it on the 50%. That's what I do, uh, my own experience. I leave it by 50%. So if needed, I will increase the color gain or decrease the color gain, it depends. But uh, the best is to leave it by the 50% and from there, and due to need, you can change it. But uh, carefully with the color scale, for example, if we're looking for the color scale in the heart, if you're looking for, uh, the valvular diseases. For example, if uh, there is a stenosis or uh, regurgitation or anything like this. So we know the velocity, especially on the left side of the heart is really high. It's really speedy flow on that left side of the heart. So we put our scale really high for them to catch the flow. So we, the color scale go by the speed of the flow. So if it's really high speed flow, for example, if it's a stenosis or even regurg, so the reverse flow is also coming back flow. It's a reverse flow with a speedy flow. So in that case, we bring our scale to that area where their speed is. If your speed is, the flow speed is too high, but your scale is, color scale is really down. That will give you really artifact, like really aliasing. It will be not diagnostic. You cannot actually see it. In case if your flow is really slow flow or really tiny narrow flow in that case, and your color scale go high. In that case, there is a flow, but you cannot see it because your scale is too high for that flow to catch it. So it's better to, to go with the flow, to catch the flow. So that scale is really important. I think it's better to know the concept and understanding of color scale, especially. Um, most of the doctors or uh, those people who work in the imaging uh, department, so if you're looking for any venous flow to, for example, uh, any uh, valvular insufficiencies or any other just uh, looking for normal venous flow, 
it's better to bring your scale down because we know the venous flow is going by the respiration and muscle movement. So there is a slow flow. So for that reason, we have to bring it down. I always give this example. I think this example will make it super easy uh, when we can use our color scale. For example, if a train is going with a speed and uh, you really want to see in one, one cabinet of the train and there's a window and there's a person, you want to see that person, you have to go with the train. You have to go with the train's speed to catch that person's face to know who is this person, for example. So you have to go with the, the speed of the train. If you're too fast from the speed, you cannot catch it. You cannot tell who the person, you cannot diagnose who the person was. If you're too slow and the train is too fast, still you cannot catch that specific window, the specific person who there. So you have to go with the flow. So if it's a high flow, it's better to scale high for that. If it's a slow flow, bring the scale down for that. I think that will make it easier. Now the color Doppler is a totally different story. Uh, color Doppler is really sensitive, too much sensitive. That will catch even a tight stenosis when there's a tight stenosis in an arterial area or somewhere uh, if there's a ABF somewhere. So to see that <clears throat> you will be able with the color Doppler, with the um, power Doppler, you will be able to see the move of the flow. <clears throat> Excuse me but uh, it will be difficult to say which direction of the flow is. So the power Doppler will tell you there is a move of the flow, there is a movement, but cannot distinguish which way the move is, to the right or to the left. So the direction of the flow will be not possible with the power Doppler, but color Doppler can tell you, is the sound going towards the sound source or going away from the sound source? But sometimes, it's important to use power Doppler because color Doppler is, um, have no that much ability or power to, to detect, to see the flow. So for that reason, we use the power Doppler. So hopefully um, that clear the concept for power Doppler, color gain and color scale. If there is anything, um, I can explain it with a simple more words. Please let, uh, let me know and leave a comment and I will try my best. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.